Hello, I'm Brian Esser from How To Automotive. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out the Milwaukee Tools brand new carry-on zero emissions generator. So stay tuned for that. So a lot of generators are used uh, in the construction industry, but I'm excited to use this because I live in Southern California and we have rolling blackouts. And that means my refrigerator is not being powered up. Uh, I also, since I live in Southern California, we have a ton of uh, camping opportunities. So I'm gonna use this for my camping. I'm gonna use it for a backup generator for my house. That way when we had those rolling blackouts, I got something to power up my refrigerator for three or four hours. While the rolling blackouts happen, they get that all sorted out. So we're gonna get this bad boy unboxed and I'm gonna go over a few specs with it. Then we're gonna put it to use in some real world situations uh, that you may run across such as rolling blackouts or you may wanna just use it on the job site for uh, tool use. Uh, the great thing about it is it's zero emissions, so it does not have a gas-powered engine that you need to fill up uh, to run it. That means you could run it in. The first thing you need to know about it is it works with four batteries. It requires four batteries to run it. Uh, it's recommended that it's 5.0 or larger batteries. For the ultimate performance, the 12.0 battery would be the, the best situation. So this is a very compact unit for a generator compared to most gas-powered generators are usually, you know, double or triple the size of this. So the size of it is pretty impressive. Um, it weighs 28 pounds without the batteries. If you're running the 12.0 batteries, all four of them, it would be right around 40 pounds, this whole unit here. My Honda generator here is a couple hundred pounds and it takes at least two people to put it in and out of a truck. The only noise that comes out of the carry-on is a little fan motor that you can barely hear at all. And the Honda generator, as you can hear here, produces quite a bit of noise. Uh, it's got a roll bar type construction here. Uh, you can place it in any position you want. There's no carburetor, or gas, oil, or anything like that to slosh around or leak out of it. So you can literally run it upside down if you wanted to. Why it's upside down, as you can see, it's just got a couple rubber mounted feet here. Uh, there's some venting on the bottom for cooling. So you're probably wondering what type of wattage does this unit put out. So Milwaukee has it rated at 3,600 peak wattage and 1,800 steady wattage. So what they mean by peak wattage is when you plug in a tool and you first pull the trigger on it, say like if you're using a, uh, a, a, you know, a table saw or something like that, when you first pull the trigger on it, that first initial burst, it will spike it and have a peak power output. And this is designed to run at 3600. So it's quite powerful unit for the size and compact size of it. And then once it gets over that little peak, it runs back down at a steady 1800 watts. So another feature this has is this cage here also can lock the batteries in. You would twist this little knob here and you can slide it out. And then you can put a padlock through here if you want it to, and then that will prevent the uh, batteries from being able to be removed. You can just slide it back together, twist it and lock it. Now this doesn't slide back and forth anything, but you can use it as a carry handle. So overall on the front here, when you power this up, you'll see it has a fuel gauge here. That's for the whole unit. That's not for the individual batteries. Individually, you could check here by pushing the buttons on the batteries. Another cool feature it has is if you look here, that indicates the batteries. If you were to take a battery off or if a battery was to have a problem, you would get the alarm and then you know uh, this is the one with the issue. Also, if you have an overheating situation, this light right here would light up here. One of the things I wanted to mention about the batteries is it doesn't matter if they're all matching batteries or not. So you can run 5 amp hour, 8 amp hour, 6 amp hour, 12 amp hour, and you can mix and match them so you can run... You could run, you know, uh, I got uh, three six amp hour batteries and one 12 amp hour battery here. Uh, the unit will still work. What it does is it, uh, the main performance performs off your lowest uh, battery. So if you put a five amp hour battery and everything else is the bigger battery, the, the unit is going to perform off the lowest battery on the unit. So uh, for best results is to have all the same types of batteries and, and also to have the 12 amp hour battery they'll be the ultimate you'll get the ultimate performance out of it milwaukee also provides a cheat sheet here to kind of tell you about what type of tools and accessories you can run with this generator that comes with the unit itself 
Another cool feature about it is the unit itself, when you plug in the main power cord here to the uh, one uh, 120 amp uh, socket on the wall, it becomes a charger. So now this is a charger and it's charging all four of these batteries at the same time. As you can see, I have the 12 amp hour battery on there and it is not charged. And we got a little red light. The other three batteries are at full charge and they have a green light. So right now you can hear a little fan running and it's charging the batteries. Also as it's charging, it's charging all of the batteries at the same time at three amps which is a quite fast charger for this unit. So on the output side, so this is where you would plug your power tools, your refrigerators, your microwave, whatever you're using, you would plug in here. It has two 120 outlets on it. This outlet here is for charging. You cannot, you cannot uh, run tools or anything at the same time as charging, using it as a charger. Uh, so if you want to use it for a out, output power, you have to unplug it turn the unit on, and then you can use the unit. So the unit has two 120 volt outlets here that run around 15 amps. It has two USB ports here. So the top one here is the USB-A. It runs at uh, 2.1, it charges at 2.1 amps. And then the uh, USB-C here on the bottom, and it r runs right at three, uh, three amps here. So it's a quite a fast charger on that one. And of course it has the 120 uh, uh, in, inlet power here. So you would plug your inlet in here and this is how you would use it as a charger. And because there's no internal combustion engine, you can use it inside of a house, inside of your trailer, RV, wherever you'd like to use it without worrying about carbon monoxide poisoning. So we're doing a remodel on my house and right now I have the electricity turned off because the electrician is wiring up some stuff. In this particular room we're doing some demo so I'm using my rocket light here to light up the, uh, the area so I can continue to work and I'm using the generator to power it up. For something like LED lights like this you can run it for hours and hours and hours without worrying about it going dead. For you mobile auto detailers, I got the generator here. I'm gonna power up my little uh, portable electric uh, pressure washer and see how it does with that and wash the car. So I got it plugged directly into the generator, got the generator on, and we're gonna. So as you can see here, it works great with the uh, pressure washer. If you were doing mobile detailing and you're using an orbital polisher, it would work great for that as well. You can get hours and hours of juice out of this. So after completely pressure washing it, as you can see here, it's still got a full charge. It's a little hard to see on camera, but uh, it's still got a full charge. You can see the batteries didn't, it didn't, that little, it didn't phase the batteries on this so you, you definitely use this as a mobile detailing uh, generator so i have three six amp hour batteries and one 12 amp hour battery and i decided to pressure wash the entire front of my house because we're prepping it for some paint that we're going to do so we're going to paint the house so i pressure washed the entire front of the house here porch all the way down to the very end here and finally Ran out of juice here. So it took me about 40 minutes of using a pressure washer nonstop to pressure wash the front of the house, maybe 35 to 40 minutes. And uh, now I'm finally out of batteries. And that was with the smaller 6 amp hour batteries. If I was using the 12 amp hour batteries, I would probably get the whole house done. If you're washing cars and stuff like that, you could wash multiple cars on one of these uh, charges. So probably charge up the batteries, go out and do your mobile detailing jobs all day long. You'd probably be good for a whole day. So if you're interested in a portable generator, the Milwaukee Tools Carry On is a good one to have. I will leave links for it down in the description of the video. I'm Brian Nessa from How To Automotive and I'd like to thank you guys for watching.